everyone. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing great. So this weekend I managed to pop into only one Dollar Tree, but I did find an item that I was really looking for and I was so glad to find it. I also picked up a couple more things, not a very big haul, but I thought I'd share it anyway. So here is the overview of the things that I got and now I will show you one by one so you can have a better look. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so to start off, I ended up finding some more of the self-adhesive stencils and I love when I find these because I think that they are really great and for the price you can't beat it. So I picked up this pattern one, this one, I found two different letter stencils. Now this is the one that I used not too long ago on a DIY. Actually the Dollar Tree pumpkin napkin holder. I'll post a link to that in the description box below if you care to see it. And then I also found this other letter stencil. And then this other pattern and I really like it with the feathers on it I just love these there's they work so well and then I ended up picking these stickers from Jot I'm really looking for the gold foil stickers that I've seen hauled but I just haven't been able to find them no matter what Dollar Tree I've been in so this was the next best thing but they're really colorful and I love all the different fonts so I was glad to pick up these I ended up picking up a couple of pencil cases the first one was for my daughter and it's this Shopkins pencil case and I thought it was really cute and the second one was for myself and I just love the pattern and the colors it seems very well made and I love the cloth that it's made with just so pretty and a really nice size it's I, I like when they're um, deep like this I also picked up I needed some paper clips you get 40 in a pack and they are from Selectum and they're really nice size paper clips and all different colors I thought they were really pretty and then from Jot, I picked up this magnifying ruler. I thought that was really great for anyone who has trouble seeing or reading small print. I thought that this would be great to use. I also was very excited to find this poster board from Jot and it is metallic and there are five pieces inside so you get blue, green, red, silver, and gold, and the size is 11 by 14. So I picked up two of these. I haven't been buying too many magnets lately because all the ones that I have been seeing, I have most of them, but these are two new ones that I did see and I thought that they were just so cute, especially this one, which is why I purchased two. So this says, Jesus is my inspiration. I just love that. And then this one says, as for me and this house, we will serve the Lord. And I also picked up two Kinder Bueno chocolates. I absolutely love these. And sometimes when you're shopping, you need a little bit of energy. <laughs> so I picked up two of these chocolates. So I was super excited to come across this ladybug dress up set. I had been looking for this for a while and all the Dollar Trees I was going to, I could not find it. I happened to go to one out of my town and lo and behold, there it was. And I'm so glad. I think that this is such a great deal for $3.75. You get the skirt, the wings and the headband. And I think it is absolutely adorable. Um, they also did have a bumblebee dress up set and I'm kicking myself for not grabbing it because I think for you know dress up it's just they're so cute and I love taking pictures in them as well they're just adorable so if I happen to go back I really hope that the bumblebee 
dress up set is there because I will grab that one too. With the kids back to school, on the list of supplies was two boxes of Kleenex. So I picked up these Kleenex Soothing Lotion. You get 72 ply tissues in a box and I picked up two. Not too many fall items that I picked up, but I was really looking for this pack of serviettes and there was only one in a different aisle tucked under some toys. So. <laughs> I'm glad that I found the one and it says gobble till you wobble. I thought it was just so cute. I also picked up some ribbon. I could not find any more of the thicker ribbon but I did find the thin ones and these were some that I had not seen. So I picked up this pattern which is really pretty. I picked up this pattern brown with the orange pumpkins. I picked up this one with the brown, yellow, orange, and white stripes. And the last one I found was this white one with the orange pumpkins. Okay, so I ended up picking up four more of these glass tea light candle holders. I got two in green and then two in the red. I finally ended up finding the bowl fillers from Dance and Decor and there were two different types that I saw. The first was, were these and then the second looked like this. And then I grabbed four knitting yarns from Crafter Square and they just scream fall to me. I don't know what I'll be using them for yet. I may knit something or just use it for something else, but it was so, so pretty. So the item that I was on the hunt for were these salt and pepper shakers, and I have been looking for these ever since I seen them hauled. And I finally ended up coming across all three of them, so I grabbed whatever they had. So the first, are the pumpkins, the squirrels, so cute, and probably my favorite, the owls, just adorable. I don't know what I'll be using them for yet, but I was just very glad to have come across them. And the last couple items that I picked up, this first one I had already purchased in my previous Dollar Tree haul, and it is the mesh tubing. It is 11 meters, and I picked it up in white and silver. They only had two, so I grabbed them. I kind of have an idea in mind, but not 100% sure, but if I end up making the DIY that I'm thinking of, I will definitely share. And then the last thing that I purchased were these ornament ball markers. They write on glass and plastic, so I picked it up in the gold, the silver, and white. And that will sum it up for this small Dollar Tree haul. If you enjoyed this haul, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, guys, take care, and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.